Guys, today's video is absolutely awesome. 313 has dropped even more information about upcoming Halo 1, Halo 2, and even 1999 cut content that's coming to the Master Chief Collection. We have some fan-made cross-core customization that really shows how cool your Spartans are going to look on Halo Infinite, as well as some secret Halo Infinite game modes that are currently unreleased. So let's jump into it. So first and foremost, you guys have been asking about cross-core customization for a very long time. And thanks to a workaround on Halo Infinite now, you can now customize your Spartan with cross-core. It doesn't affect the live game, but it does let you experiment. And some Halo fans have started messing with it, and this is what they've come up with. It's such a shame that the fracture cores, or at least the pieces, won't be available for cross-core customization in Season 2. I really think that allowing players to be as creative as possible even if they create absolute abominations, is one of the best things 343 can do. So I hope complete cross-core customization comes soon. Moving on from that, about a month ago, I showed you guys the Halo Waypoint data, and it showed Griffball, it showed Bastion, and it showed all these unreleased game modes that we have not seen yet on Halo Infinite. And today, an article by Den Delamaski actually shows every single secret game mode that 343 is currently working on. As always, if you want to read the full blog post, I'll leave it in the description. But just to name off a few, we have Synth Slayer, Paintball, Bastion, Slay Holds, Parcel, Team Juggernaut, Supply Lines, Dungeon, Griffball, Assault, Race, Rally, Infection, which you guys know about, Extraction, which you guys also know about, and so much more. You guys have been asking for more content for a while, so this gives you a little snapshot into what 343 is working on and what you can expect for game modes coming in the future. So the big news of today is the second MCC blog for the cut content has gone live, and I thought we got a lot last week, but this week's info makes me even more excited. On screen now, I'm gonna show you guys the chain gun, the concussion gun jump, the concussion gun warthog blast, and the assault rifle grenade launcher. Now with the clips I do on the campaign, can you guys imagine all the unique, awesome stuff I'm gonna be able to do? It's gonna be so good. I can combine grenades with this new concussion gun, as well as the gravity wrench, and I'm excited just talking about it. Not only that, we got some really cool third person weapon animations. I'll have them playing on screen now for you guys to see, as well as another look at the AI wildlife that the modders and 343 are working on. I love Halo content like this, and I love even more when I read the comments when I make videos like this, and you guys are as excited as I am. There was also a first look at one of the new maps is being worked on. It was originally actually called Damnation, with a description of Colony Remains on Reach. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like with 343 revamping it. I am so damn excited to play this. In the blog post itself, there was a question that said, what is the most interesting thing you have learned from this work? And the answer was the sheer amount of content from the pre-release era surprised me the most. Everyone knows there is cut content, but there are so many variations and iterations of weapons, characters, and vehicles that it truly demonstrates Bungie's massive scope for Halo and the importance of experimentation to find the magic formula. As someone who loves the older games, I grew up with them, a lot of you guys did as well. Being able to relive those memories and experience something new on something old is very, very special. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. I'm really happy that Halo Infinite is getting new content, and I hope the first items come to cross-core customization soon. Of course, what I'm most excited for is the MCC modded cut content. Just being able to relive my childhood is so incredible. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.